Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to review axial shear and bending and to introduce axial force diagrams, shear force diagrams and BMDs, which I'll simply refer to as AFDs, SFDs and BMDs. So first I just wanted to quickly review internal actions which we talked about in the last topic. So axial forces, that comes as either tension or compression. T tension is the elongation of our member and compression is the reduction in length of our member. Shear is defined as the relative movement of two planes in a member transverse, transversely um, to the member length. And bending can come as either sagging or hogging. Sagging has a deformation that looks a bit like this. Uh, the top is in compression and the bottom in tension. It's defined as positive and hogging. Um, the top is in tension and the bottom is compression and has a deformation uh, that looks like this. And that's defined as negative in this course. So first, I just wanted to go through the steps um, that we use to determine the AFD, BMD and the SFD um, for a certain beam. So the first step is to determine um, the reactions. So when you get um, a beam, you want to replace these supports here with the equivalent reactions that they have. So here we've got a UDL acting with um, a load of...